Hey all, so today I'm going to show you how to insert an image into another one. So this is just a quick tutorial covering that. So what I'm first going to do is open up a blank Microsoft Word document. And then I'm going to go back to that folder. And then so this is going to be my background. So I'm just going to drag it in there like so. There's another way to insert images if you go into insert pictures and then you can find the file within your file structure here but I prefer to just drag and drop. So first we're gonna put this girl in the park. So right now you can see they're both separate images. So what I'm gonna do is Word automatically puts images and text into a grid sort of format. So what I'm gonna do is take that out of it and right click, go to wrap text and click on in front text. So you see what that's done? That now the little girl image is in front of the park. It's much bigger than the park. So what we're going to do is resize this by left mouse clicking on the corner of the image and continuing to drag until you've got your desired size. So it's, it's always best to only use these corners because if you use this then the image gets distorted. So I'm going to undo that whereas this always keeps the ratio so always looking normal so I'm gonna put there so girls jump in there okay so I'm going to insert another so you see it's Move it down there. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. So right click. I'm going to go to wrap text. I'm going to put it in front of text. And then I am going to resize it. Like so. So what I'm going to do with this is. See I have two rugby balls here. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to crop one of them out. So if I right click and you see the crop, it's all there. So if I just drag this up, center. Okay, and you see I have yeah, one ball here. Okay, and have you realized with all these images, um, these images were all have transparent backgrounds ready. So if I go to Google and I search transparent bike, you can see these images with these black, well, these gray and white boxes. That means that the image is transparent. It has no background, which means if I copy this straight from Google and I paste this in and I do what I do, before. So put that in front of text. So you see how it, there is no background. So it's much easier if you're working with images that the background has already been removed. It will just make your life much, much easier. So if we're working with a image that is not transparent, then what we can do is you see this lady, smiley lady here. So, oops, wasn't meant to click on that. So if I copy and I don't want to edit header, I want to, oh, come on, what me? If I paste that in there. So we want to get rid of this green background here. And it's one easy solid color, so it's very easy to get rid of. So what I do is I left click on the image, go to picture tools, 
I go to color and then there's this option here, set transparent color. So if I click on this, you see how it got rid of it. You can see a little bit of green here, but it did uh, a pretty good job of getting rid of the background because it was all one color. So if I resize this and then oh, I forgot to put in a final text. So if I so let's move this bike here. Put there. So there's a smiley naked woman in the park now. So yeah, there you have it. So that's how you insert an image into another image. If you want me to go into detail a more complex background removal, then just leave a comment below of what you would like me to explain more and I will do so. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe.